Thank you. So, good afternoon. I'm Stefano. And uh, so, first, uh, time of flight collision avoidance system. Uh, this is the work uh, that follows my master thesis. My master thesis. And uh, what is a time of flight collision avoidance system? Well, the basic diagram uh, of a time of flight system is uh, composed of a transmitter that in our case would be a laser diode that uh, will uh, uh, send light to a lens that will uh, uh, diverge the, the beam, laser beam, in order to uh, illuminate a larger area. Then the environment will uh, scatter back the light to a lens that will focus the light received on a time of flight sensor, a 3D sensor, that is demodulated with the same signal that is used in the modulation. And the result of this computation is uh, a phase value that we use in order to have a depth map of the environment of the scene illuminated by the, by the, um, by the laser. So, what have I done? Well, uh, I designed uh, this board that uh, uh, is the result of the integration of a different uh, board we used to evaluate uh, the prototype uh, at the beginning. And uh, uh, the goal was to have uh, a more compact system that merges the two. We had uh, a board for the sensor and a board for the FPGA, an Altera FPGA, in order to do some uh, signal processing and filtering on the received data, phase data. So the idea is we illuminate the environment, we receive the phase information from the demodulated light by the laser, and we have a 3D map that we can filter and uh, on which, uh, once we have processed it, processed it uh, we can uh, uh, apply some threshold algorithm in order to decide if, for example, uh, an object, knowing the phase, we know the relation between the, the, the distance of the object and the phase received, so we can evaluate its distance from the sensor, and of course, uh, if we apply a threshold, we can say, okay, there's something in this frame that is too close to the sensor, and we can apply uh, some countermeasure. Uh, the idea is to use the, this system. This system is thought to be used on uh, automated guided vehicles that are so-called AGVs. So in this way, we can have uh, uh, something that is uh, automated that can move freely in space. And uh, in real time, it, it, uh, it can have a, a map, a 3D map of the environment. So it can, uh, uh, it can be able to take decision, for example, to uh, emergency braking or uh, steering uh, in uh, certain to avoid collisions. Uh, which are the results? Well, is the color are not so good. I'm sorry for that. But in the central image on the top, you can see the phase received by the sensor and the send to the FPGA. And uh, in the lower part, you can see the filtering uh, applied in software. And on the top left, you can see the same filtering applied in hardware. So uh, after that, we have an image that, uh, uh, if you look, uh, I don't know if the colors uh, are well uh, <laughs> rendered, but uh, the red part the denotes uh, something that is closer to the sensor than something that is uh, farther, like uh, in orange or uh, blue. Like you can see there's my chair in orange at the center of the image, and we have a red bean in the front of, uh, of the scene. And that's it. Uh, for I would like to underline, I designed uh, both the hardware, the, 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 the board I showed uh, there, and uh, the software and the manipulation of the face data in, uh, in hardware. That concludes the first project I've been working on and I'm still working on. Uh, the second one is uh, the development of a real-time locating system. Uh, the idea uh, comes from the fact that uh, Suppose you are uh, in a warehouse, you have an AGV, uh, and you want to know indoor where precisely where this uh, machine is. Well, using GPS may be uh, tricky, since you, you can have uh, uh, problems in uh, reception. So the idea is to use uh, uh, a system that is able to track uh, an active tag uh, that can be attached to the machine and uh, uh, can be located with respect to fixed sen to sensors that are in fixed position that we know, so we can uh, evaluate uh, the 
difference of the position sent by the, um, the tag and that one received by the sensors. Um, the principle we are using is uh, uh, the time of arrival. So we send an ultra wideband signal that is received by the sensor, by the sensors. And since the sensors as are synchronized, we are able to evaluate the time difference of arrival uh, between uh, uh, each sensor and the master sensor. In this way, we can trilaterate the position of the tag in the environment. This, is, uh, this allows a real-time location uh, using correlation inside, again, uh, an FPGAs. And we can map uh, the position both in 3D, in 2D or in 3D. To have the 3D localization, we need uh, more s a sensor more at the basis. Um, the system is able to um, have a resolution of an accuracy of 10 centimeter. Um, it depends on the sampling frequency we are using. Uh, what I'm doing right now is developing the firmware part, uh, both in, the, in VHDL for, uh, the, on the Xilinx uh, FPGA and uh, the code for the processor, since uh, this uh, Xilinx 7000 we are using is a uh, uh, an SOC, so we have uh, both FPGAs and the processor inside the same chip, so it is um, uh, appropriate to, for an embedded system since we have uh, everything on just one chip. And uh, I'm also designing uh, the, a, a new tag that can be, that should be uh, low weight, very uh, low cost, and uh, can be uh, easy to manufacture. The idea is to develop all the system uh, on this uh, evaluation board and then again create a new board that integrates uh, all that you see in this board plus the, the new part, the receiving part uh, at uh, RF, RF, radio frequency, uh, all in one system that again should be very uh, compact and uh, low cost. Uh, the last part uh, of my discussion is my... Uh, contribution in PCB radar automotive radar design. So uh, in these pictures, we are collaborating actually with uh, ST Microelectronics uh, in developing both a radar at 77 gigahertz and uh, another automotive radar at 24 gigahertz. That are the two bands allocated for automotive radar. In the pictures, you can see on the left, a border that I designed at 77 gigahertz. Uh, they are not in scale, so I couldn't say you can recognize it because the antenna are smaller. But uh, you can see that uh, there's a lot going on. We have many antennas. In this case, we have 12 receiving antennas and 9 uh, transmitting antennas. And uh, it works at 77 gigahertz. The other one is uh, a 24 gigahertz board that has four transmitting antennas, arrays of antennas, and uh, two receiving one. And uh, you can also see that uh, there are uh, some balloons in order to uh, modify the signal from differential exiting from the chip to single-ended. And uh, it is, uh, I think, uh, a good example since uh, it, gives, uh, it gave me the opportunity to see both uh, something that uh, is, com is related to uh, radio frequency design in terms of designing the PCB because I wasn't... I wasn't uh, capable of designing the antenna. I had uh, a more expert colleague, uh, much more expert colleague than me that uh, designed it for, for the board. But you have the opportunity to design uh, both uh, a system at uh, radio frequency that has an analog part and a digital part, uh, and so make a PCB that uh, merges almost everything you have seen uh, in, uh, in the courses uh, during your uh, master degree or bachelor. And I think it's... Uh, they are very beautiful, for, uh, that's my opinion. <laughs> Last things, uh, this concludes uh, what uh, I'm actually doing right now. What I'm going to do, the idea is to uh, take the two systems that I've shown you, the real-time locating system, system and the collision avoidance system, and uh, integrate them uh, into a so-called simultaneous locating and mapping system, uh, SLAM, in order to have a, a navigation system that is able to um, create a 3D map of a, of a scene for an AGV in order to move freely in a, in a space 
and also to be able at, uh, in real time to locate the same uh, object with uh, a, a good accuracy in the order of 10 centimeters. Then uh, the idea is to continue also on the automotive radar uh, PCB development, but not only, uh, also try to develop and work with the uh, development of the system of the firmware for the for the radar and uh, the different uh, um, application of uh, um, techniques to benchmark and validate uh, and validate it. And uh, that's it. I I I have no other works to show you <laughs> for now for now. And uh, I finished. <laughs> <laughs>